Hello, this is the Trainside U.S. Stocks Futures Forex and Market Preview for the week beginning Sunday the 23rd of April 2023 and ending Friday the 28th. Hope you had a good week. It was not a great week here, but I hope you had a good week. Um, here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Uh, nothing. I mean, look how flat that is. Look at the last five days on that. <laughs> Let's not even talk about it. There's nothing to discuss. It's just, you know, obviously horrific from every perspective, and that's it. So we're not going to go there. Uh, we look at the pound dollar, also horribly flat. Euro dollar, horribly flat. It's the inverse of the dollar index, pound again. I mean, there's just nothing here. Forex is completely dead. So we'll just get blast through that and be done with it. Here's the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market, futures form. You know, and as you can see, I mean, also very flat. You know, we're sitting where we were three weeks ago. This has been some of the slowest stuff we've seen in a long time. And it's just... There's a lot going on in the world. There's interest rate issues. There's competing interest rate issues around the globe. And the markets are not moving. Um, so I don't know what to say about that. Plus all the stuff with the war. and uh, It's just really interesting. It's just, I've never seen anything like this, to be honest. Uh, here's the SP Cash Index, also very flat. NASDAQ 100. I mean, look at that. Literally, that's three weeks of NASDAQ going nowhere. Nowhere. Uh, Russell 2000, also nowhere. Crude oil down to 76.98 after being back up in the 80s for a brief moment there, and then gold uh, came back a little bit, but it had been moving up. Obviously, Bitcoin since at 27,725. As I do this, TLT the 20-year bond ETF dead flat for the last five months or whatever that is. The VIX now down at 16.77, so a pretty low reading on the volatility index. Advanced decline ratio on the Nasdaq, uh, not much. Pretty flat all week, and the 10-day moving average is. Very flat as well. The uh, trend here, uh, you know, the 10 day is at one. Uh, and obviously, we care about when it goes under 0.85, and that's not happening. So, there's not really a signal there by any stretch of the imagination. Here's the intra week action on the ES. I mean, you're talking about 50 points of range for the entire week. And most of the day is very boring. Thursday, maybe the most exciting of all of them. Um, it's just not good. NASDAQ 100. Look at this. I mean, this is as flat as it gets. So, there's nothing here. Uh, all right, in terms of some of the stocks we watch, and I'm going to tell you right now, there's no real setups or signals. Apple hanging near the highs of the last six months. Amazon kind of curling up here. This one looks a little more interesting than most. Meta, uh, nothing there. Either Google, uh, you know, okay, like maybe a potential cup and handle breakout on that. Goldman Sachs, okay. Netflix closes flat uh, for the last month. Tesla, not much here either. I mean, it's kind of at the lows after the gap down on Friday. Elon Musk's obviously a moron. Um, NVIDIA hanging your highs and Zoom, uh, you know, hanging your lows. This is a breakdown. Like, this is a good short looking thing, right? Obviously, we can have some problems here. So, we will uh, track that one and see what it gets us to in terms of economic data coming out this week. And, and again, by the way, uh, this is the last week of April. Friday is the 28th, so the 20th, 30th. So the statements print on Friday. It's not a quarter ending thing. It's just a month ending thing. But we shall see, uh, you know, what that brings us. So in terms of economic data coming out, uh, we've got uh, Sunday, not much. Tuesday, Monday, uh, bank holidays uh, in New Zealand and Australia for whatever reason. No U.S. data. Tuesday, the housing price index at 9 a.m. Eastern time. CB consumer confidence at 10. New home sales at 10. Rich and manufacturing index at 10. Trade balance out of New Zealand. Australia's got their CPI that night. Now we're already to Wednesday. Durable goods here in the U.S. at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. Along with goods trade balance. Preliminary wholesale inventories. And then we've got crude oil inventories. Uh, I get to Thursday, advanced GDP. So this is the first look at gross domestic product. By the way, we're also in the middle of earnings season. I should point that out as well. So watch a lot of earnings gaps. Um, but gaps, I mean, the market hasn't moved in three weeks. So where's the gaps, right? But okay. Uh, we get the first look at first quarter GDP on Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. We'll see what that brings us. Uh, pending home sales at 10. Now you guess 10.30. Blah, 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 and then we're on to Friday, and it's uh, core PC price index, employment cost index, personal income and spending at 8.30 a.m., Chicago PMI at 945, revised University of Michigan Center at 10. That is it. So it's not a big week for all this stuff for data-wise, but, you know, obviously there's a few things in there. Um, I don't see anything we have to be half size over except for the uh, 
the GDP number for Forex. We have to be half size ahead of that on Thursday, so Wednesday night going to Thursday. Charts as usual brought to you by Ninja Trader. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week.